You have to do this recipe. This is fabulous, super easy to do. I'm gonna cut into it in a minute, but this is amazing. This is really simple to make. Anybody can make this recipe. Cooked on the outside and running hot fudge on the inside. You ready? Okay, really simple. This is a, a recipe that I learned to make, I don't know, 40 years ago, 50 years ago. Roger Verger from uh, the Moulin of Vougin taught me to make this recipe. He was the creator of uh, the first ever uh, volcano cake or whatever some of the places call it. It's a melting chocolate cake where the outside is cooked and not the inside. It's so simple to make, you're not going to believe it. First, we melted some butter. And uh, we're going to melt some chocolate. We're going to add some chocolate. So I got melted butter in here. And then I got some beautiful chocolate. I'm using a 64% a cocoa butter French chocolate. Um, use, use a good chocolate. Remember, you're only as good as the ingredient you're using, okay? You use good ingredient, you're going to make good food. You use crappy ingredient, good luck making good food. <laughs> then we're going to put some eggs. You, you don't really need a, 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 a mixer for this, um, but I'm a little lazy, <laughs> so I'm going to put some in there. So we got a little sugar and, um, and little eggs. We have some whole eggs and we have some, a couple of extra yolks. We'll give you the exact recipe on our website for sure. We're going to whip the eggs in there. And then we are going to put uh, chocolate and butter melted um, in there. I can turn the heat off. You know, when your pan is hot and you're melting chocolate and you got butter in there. I know chocolate loves butter. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> So we got the chocolate, look how beautiful, look, look, look. See when you have beautiful chocolate, look. Check it out, check it out, look how beautiful that is. You see that shine on there? Whoa. So now, you can flavor the dessert with so many things. You can put Nutella in there. Um, you can put uh, uh, orange zest and Grand Marnier. You can do, you, you can put Amaretto. You can do so many different things. Today I'm gonna put a bit of Kahlua. So I got Kahlua in here, but you can put whatever you want, okay? This is very, don't put too much booze on it. More booze you put in, <laughs> happier your guests are gonna be, which is okay, but uh, longer, more booze you put in, longer it's gonna take. Otherwise it cooks five minutes, 500 degrees. Five minutes, 500 degrees. Make sure your oven is, my oven is already going 500, right? I'm gonna put a little Kahlua. The secret is to measure carefully. <laughs> But if you're gonna put Grand Marnier in here, which would be great to put Grand Marnier in there, put some orange zest in there. Oh yeah. If you're gonna put an amaretto or um, put some um, uh, Nutella in there, it's delicious. Okay, so look. We have our, um, our chocolate. And now what we're gonna do, the eggs are whipped enough. We're gonna put our chocolate in here. We're gonna do a little slowly. We don't need to go fast with this. Because I don't want to be cooking my eggs in here. I want to cook my eggs. I want to cook my eggs in the mold. All right. So I got my chocolate in there. And my butter. I'm going to make sure I get all my chocolate and my butter in there. You see? Because a lot of them is in the pan. Now the idea is to try to put it all in the mixer. Oh. <laughs> looked like I didn't do that earlier. A little bit of it went on the mixer. That's okay. We're not doing a, a show on PBS. We're doing a show on YouTube where people are wonderful. <laughs> uh, I got my Kahlua in there, right? Now I'm going to put a little flour in there, friends. Just a little flour. By the way, you can make that same exact cake, friends. You can make that same exact cake without the flour for Passover. Except instead of five minutes, it takes a good 15, 20 minutes to cook it. Yeah, without the flour, it takes forever to cook, right? All right, so I mixed it up. It's good. Did I put Kahlua in there yet? Just in case you forget. <laughs> Don't be afraid to put a little Kahlua in there. Oh, that's it. Don't put too much Kahlua. Especially if you make it with skin. My mom used to put a lot of booze in our food. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Saturday night, you're with five kids, right? The, the neighbor would come in and goes, uh, where are the kids? Oh, they're sleeping. What do you mean they're sleeping? It's 8 o'clock Saturday night. Oh, they wanted to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, we were all drunk, we wanted to go to bed. <laughs> we're not drunk, but we're happy kids. We're, Mom, can we go to bed? <laughs> she knew what she was doing, let me tell you. All right, look, guys, I got my mixture right there. 
Um, I'm using a, a fondant mold. It's not a fondant. It's called a brioche mold. That's why I make my brioche. But it's fabulous for this because they look real pretty. You want to spray them with a non-stick spray or spray them with, a, or brush them with butter and flour or a non-stick spray with flour, right? And you got to prepare them all. If you don't, you're going to have a tough time taking them out, right? So now look, this. look, look. We pour the mixture. You want to do it about three quarters of the way because they're going to rise somewhat because you whipped up the eggs. You got some air in the egg. You want to, you want to kind of like give them a little room, not too much room. I would say let's fill them up about 85% of the way. Okay, just a little bit more here. Yep, just a little bit more here. Maybe a little more here. What do you think? Well, since we're at it, <laughs> let me put a little more here and a little more here. All right, we're good to go now. All right, so now, very important, friends. Now we have to make sure we have a preheated oven at 500 degrees. So now, let's say you want to make those in advance. No problem. You can make them in advance. Matter of fact, you can, um, you can make them in advance, refrigerate them. But the secret is to make sure when you put them in the oven, they're not cold anymore. The butter cannot be congealed. The butter has to be at room temperature. So if you make them in advance, no problem. You can make them the day before your dinner party. Take them out while you're serving the appetizer. By the time you're ready for dessert, they're going to be ready to be put in the oven. So they've got to be at room temperature before you go into a 500 degree oven. One of them is full too much. It's going to be interesting. All right, here we go, friends. You know, you know, you know, you know what I like to do? Because I like to have a perfect. So you'll have to forgive me. Let me get a spoon. I got to steal some from Peter to give to Paul. Is that an expression? That's an expression, right? Look, there you go. See, this guy's got a little too much right there. And this guy right there didn't get enough. So now everybody's happy. <laughs> well, we're going to go to the oven. And then they're going to come out. Five minutes, friends. Put your clock on. Five minutes. I'll see you back in five minutes. Okay. Five minutes went by. It went pretty fast, didn't it? <laughs> and here they are. Here they are. Here they are. Here they are. Let me show you. It's really important, friends. You see, if you can, um, let me make sure you can see it, where the, the outside of the cake is cooked, but the inside of it is still liquid. And that's the whole deal. Okay? It's got to be like, you see? Okay, right here, you can see the center right there. It's kind of like jiggling a little bit. And that's okay. We want it to be that way, right? So now I'm going to take a tongue. See, see right there? It's still removing in the middle. And if it falls apart when you take it out, don't worry. It looks really cool. All right, so we're going to take it and we're going to put it upside down. Woo! Check it out, check it out. And you see right there that you have a little crater in the middle, right? Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take an ice cream bowl. Right there, I'm going to put it right in the crater. Right there, right in the crater, they put a nice ice cream bowl. Oh, yeah. You see, the reason why there's a crater is because the cake is loose. And, and, and it falls right inside of it because the inside of it is loose. And I'm going to get a spoon. And then you're going to see it. You see how simple that is now? Now what's going to happen in the, the, the ice cream is going to start to melt a little bit. You see? Uh, I think that's really, really cool when the ice cream melts like that. See, see, look, 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 look. Look how cool that looks. That looks so cool. A little bit of ice cream melted. Well, you know, it's super, super hot, right? The cake is 500 degrees. And look, look how cool that looks. You see the ice cream right there? Running into there, and then it's going to start running. And right there, friends. Okay, you ready? Because I'm going to go in, and then we're going to be able to see it. But this is a fabulous recipe, friend. You guys, you have to do this recipe. This is fabulous, super easy to do. I'm going to cut into it in a minute, but this is amazing. This is really simple to make. Anybody can make this recipe. Cooked on the outside and running hot fudge on the inside. Get ready? Oh, yeah, here we go. Put in. See what I do? Look, look. I like to push the ice cream down. Look, look, look. Look, look, look. Look right there. Look at that. As you push it, look. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that. Look at it. It's hoozing out. Oh. With the ice cream right there. This, friends, this, this is what I call a very sexy dessert. <laughs> I love my life. Mm. Oh. Oh. I'm going to eat the whole thing. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh man.
pas leur ma job. I forgot to tell you, but I put some mix um, uh, uh, berry coolie. I made a berry coolie. I made a video on that too, so you can see how to make it. It's a mixed berry coolie. It's a, it's a, you, got, you guys got to try this. This is amazing. I think I'm going to finish it all. Huh? Mm. Make this recipe. Mm. Excuse my mouth. Don't forget to subscribe and, and, and give us a thumbs up and ring the bell so next time I got a video, you can receive it, okay?